trying to sort this scarf out. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a vlog. As I mentioned at the start of the year, I wanted to vlog more this year and just include a bit more out and about footage, things that I'm up to. And this first vlog for the year is gonna be focused around my birthday. It's actually my birthday tomorrow. So today we are heading into town, myself and Tom and Barney. We're gonna take Barney as well. Just have a bit of a browse. Shops do shut early today, I think so. We're just gonna have a quick look around. I've got a couple of vouchers I wanna spend, a couple of bits that I need from Boots. And we're just gonna have some food, I think, keep it chilled. It's fairly gray outside. It's looking like it might rain, I'm not gonna lie. So I've decided to wrap up. I've got my Primark scarf on. In fact, let me show you in the mirror my little outfit of today. So this is a what I am wearing for today. I've just got a basic white tee on a necklace, a coat and scarf, both from Primark, which I love, I love both of these. My bag is from Chanel. This is actually a camera case, but I just really like the size of it as a crossbody bag. And then I've got my leather leggings, I haven't worn these in a while, from Topshop and my boots. These are from June, but I got them in John Lewis. I got them just before Christmas. They should be in stock. They kind of seamlessly blend in with the leggings but yeah this is what I'm gonna wear and this scarf is actually the first time I've worn this scarf it's super cozy and thick and considering I've just got a t-shirt and a thin coat on I thought this would be my additional layer because when I get shopping I do tend to get quite hot so at least I can then just open it up so yeah this is my outfit of the day let's head on into Manchester let's get some yummy food do a bit of shopping and then I might see you guys on my actual birthday tomorrow as well might show you what I've got. I already know a couple of little bits that I'm getting. I've got my new watch. This is my main kind of gift to myself this year. With it being my 30th, it's a big one. So I got myself a Rolex. I also do have planned in myself and Tom are going to the Lake District. It was one of our, or one of Tom's gifts to me. So that is going to be, it's in a week but I th feel like I might include it in this vlog so this is kind of like a birthday overall vlog so anyway let's head on into Manchester and stop rambling standing underneath the lights look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets We're back from our shopping trip and look what Tommy has secretly organised I'm hoping that this one stays away from them You hear me? Yes, you! Um, oh my god, he has spoiled me rotten. He's got a company in to give me these amazing balloons. They are all beige. I mean, he knows me and my style very well. And then the 30 balloons have Freya 30 written on them. I just am so in love. I can't, it looks like Barney's 30 with his bed kind of framing them. I'm so in love with these. I just think they are so beautiful. I'm going to try and get the company name off Tom so that I can leave them linked because I just am in love. So yeah, I'm gonna show you these in better daylight tomorrow morning when it is my actual birthday, along with all the bits that I have picked up today from the shops. Let's hope that these are as they are now in the morning. And let's hope that this little munchkin doesn't get hold of them and doesn't get too excited. I mean, he tried to get the big ones at the bottom there and I swiftly told him a big fat no. And luckily, he seems to have avoided them since. We also met a lovely subscriber, Lisa, in town today. She spotted Barney and I. Barney was people watching quite a lot, weren't you, bud? Um, we were sat outside Cafe Nero whilst uh, Tom was in Apple because he needed to, to get something sorted. And dogs aren't allowed in the Arndale Centre, apparently. So, I mean, we didn't try it, but I read online that they're not allowed, so... We patiently waited outside with a coffee and so many people, there was at one point a queue of three people in line to pet Barney because he was waiting so patiently, looking all regal with his barber bandana, like a little posh pooch and he was being such a good boy, little superstar. 
honestly, if you want an ego boost, get a puppy. I mean, I'm that person. Pre-Barney and even with Barney now, whenever I see a dog out in public, I'm like, can I pet your dog? Can I pet that dog? But anyway, I'm going to see you guys in the morning for my 30th birthday. I'm actually fully embracing the fact that I'm turning 30. I feel like it's a big milestone. I don't feel halfway to 60. I'll tell you that <laughs> for free. But um, I'm, quite an, I'm quite an old soul. So I do feel 30, I suppose, just being a female, having a body clock. It does make you think kids, marriage, future which seems a million miles off for me. But now I'm 30. Maybe it's something to start thinking about. Who knows? We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, I'm feeling so grateful for these balloons. Tom does not do birthday balloons or cards ever. So this is a real treat for me. Just feeling so grateful. I think we're just gonna chill out and have picky bits. <laughs> bits that we've probably got in the cupboard, maybe even just a beans on toast night tonight. Go for a nice long country walk in the morning. One of my faves that we haven't done since getting Barney. A um, place called Ethro Park. So we might head there in the morning. Have a little cafe pit stop or a pub lunch or something. Back for a takeaway and just a chill tomorrow for my birthday. Which has been nice that we've been, been able to get out and about and in town today. Because I feel like we've got stuff done. I've had a bit of a shopping spree. And then for my actual birthday, chill time. Look, he's staying up there. Look at his tail. Get it. <laughs> Take it to daddy. I am back from what was the most gorgeous sunny walk this morning. So it's my actual birthday. We went to Ethro Park near Stockport, if you know it, and then we went via Marple on route back, um, Marple Bridge. There's a little bakery there, which was delicious. Got my 10,000 steps in for the day, feeling good. And it literally, there's no cloud in the sky. It's amazing. It's been perfect weather. I couldn't have asked it for a better day. We're back home now. I thought I would do a little showing of some of the bits that I got for my birthday. Obviously next week, myself and Tom are going to the Lake District for a couple of nights, which I'll obviously include within this vlog. And um, I also very kindly got a um, one of the buy a gift packages for a hotel stay for two for two nights as well from some of my girlfriends. So myself and Tom were probably gonna go at some point, maybe in the summer, we've been talking about a Cornwall trip so we could use it then. Or maybe if we enjoy it, Lake District next week, maybe another couple of nights in the Lake District. Cause honestly, I'm really looking forward to that. And myself and Tom, one of our little kind of New Year's resolutions, achievements, things that we want to do a bit more of is go on longer walks, longer exploring walks with the dog and places that we've never been before. Cause we definitely got, we get stuck in the habit of going for our regular sort of daily walks, which we switch up, but it's all just local. And then at the weekends or as and when we can, we do go to do another walk, but it's like the same one every time. So yeah, we just want to switch it up a bit, explore, go a bit further afield now that he's pretty much fully grown as well. Anyway, a couple of bits that I did get um, for my birthday. I got some chocolates from Hotel Chocolat. This is one of the 
little happy birthday boxes. I also got a coffee cake from M&S, my favorite cake, so we can have a bit of that later. I also got a Lush bath bomb, and this is in the butter ball, so it is, it's got shea butter in it. So it's nice and hydrating, it's white. I'm not gonna open it just because, can I keep it one? Oh my God, it smells amazing. Kind of want to keep it in its packaging for now. I did once have a basket in a bathroom full of Lush bath bombs that I opened up, but I actually think it's better to keep them in their bags. So I might actually do that again, because I did like that, but then, like I said, rather than have them out, have them within their bags and have them labeled up so each time I have a bath, I can just grab myself a Lush bath bomb from my bath bomb basket. Yesterday when we were in town, Tom very kindly picked me up one of my favorite pairs of Lululemon leggings. I was going to buy some anyway and I popped in. I said, oh Tom, I'll just pop in and grab myself another pair. And he was like, oh, let me buy them for you, birthday treat. So I was very grateful for that because these are expensive. They're 88 pounds for a pair of leggings, which is a lot, but well worth it and I really do miss my leggings when they're in the wash. So this is the Align pant they're called. I get the 25 inch length. They do do a cropped one at 21 and a longer, which I have the longer one in the black at 28. So I do have to like roll them up a little bit at the bottom. So that's why I wanted to pick up myself a pair of plain black, wear these all the time. I also got a bottle of my fave, a Verve. So we're gonna pop this in the fridge and have this with a Chinese takeaway tonight. 30th birthday goals. <laughs> I also got very kindly sent in the mail this package which arrived from my brother and his girlfriend. They bought me something from House of CB. So when I opened it up, I was very excited to see what was inside. And it is one thing that I have been wanting for I want to say a long while now. It's one of the cardigans that House of CB do. They're so well known for these cardigans. They're like the chenille super soft fabric. And they got me the cream color. House of CB in a medium. They are quite an oversized fit already. If I was ordering myself online, I probably would have been like, oh, just go for a large or medium or large. But the medium is already quite oversized. So I would stay true to size with this. So medium is perfect for me and then they just like have super long sleeves that you can just roll up. Honestly, it's the coziest thing ever. I'm gonna try and make these chocolates last. I'm gonna try and just savor the chocolate. You know, I don't have to demolish, empty the cupboards and then start a diet. I'm just gonna start a healthier lifestyle from now, from tomorrow. I mean, it's my birthday today. From tomorrow of eating healthier, both myself and Tom are gonna do it. Um, loads of water, gonna make some ginger tonic, the Lydia Millen recipe is delicious. And just not overindulge. I'm not one for cutting out everything or restricting. I'm talking a lot about these chocolates because I'm fully justifying the size of this box, which is ginormous. Gillian is one of my favorite chocolates. These praline soft-scented seashells, if you've had them, are just the best. So that was from my mum and dad. They also got me one of these fireside refills. I'm actually looking at, let me show you this now, this rediffuser in my filming room is the fireside one, which I love. And as you can tell, there's probably maybe only a quarter left. And quite a bit of dust on top. Only about a quarter left. So once that's gone, I'm gonna use this refill to fill that straight back up. And this is definitely gonna be the scent going on in this room for as long as I can get fireside. I mean, that with this refill and that big candle and my oil with my oil burner, hopefully will get me through. Never discontinue the scent white company if you're watching. So yeah, this is in smoked woods and vanilla. It's kind of uh, smoky, but also sweet as well. I also got a white company gift card from a family friend, uh, very much appreciated. As you guys know, I love the white company, so I might pop online and spend that this afternoon, do some online shopping. I also got, I think this is the last gift now, I got from my mum and dad as well, from Aspinall of London. I love this brand, it's such a nice, great quality, um, I'm going to say reasonably priced as well for the quality brand and I've actually bought some bits from Tom in the past from here. So they got me this which I thought was genius. I've seen these before and I just think they're such a good gift for maybe that person who seems to have everything. It's a little accessory that you can throw in your handbag and they do come in different colours. Mum and dad got me the black. I think this part 
is usually a different color or they have different colors of it. So basically, as and when you're out and about, whether you're at the hairdresser's restaurant or bar and you just want to pop that on the side and it just hangs like so where you can put your coat, your jacket, your handbag, any kind of shopping bags that you have so that they're not sat on the floor. Genius, right? And yeah, Aspinall of London, the quality is just impeccable. Love the little bag that it comes in the box as well. I'll definitely repurpose those for some kind of storage or maybe even just keep that in there for when I'm not using it. So yeah, that is everything that I got for my birthday. I'm so grateful, feeling blessed, feeling happy that I'm 30 and I've got that big three zero out of the way. I'm not gonna say out of the way like I've been dreading it. I feel like that kind of maybe i feel a little bit younger but i'm just feeling super grateful so that is everything that i got um i feel like the rest of this afternoon we're just gonna sit back we've got 24 hours in police custody on tonight which is probably my favorite tv program ever you can't go back and watch the old series which is so annoying as well so any kind of like true crime or docu-series like that any recommendations similar to 24 hours in police custody, let me know, because I feel like I need to be able to binge something like that, which obviously I can't with that one. Anyway, so we're gonna watch that tonight. We've also been watching on Netflix, another series called Drive to Survive. There are three seasons and it's all about Formula One and you kind of set in the pits and it's kind of following their journey. I'm gonna just take you guys downstairs. It follows along the journey of all the F1 teams and um, across several seasons it's really interesting if you even if you're not like a formula one watcher i do quite like it but oh tom's on the phone hi pooch he's on a work school he was like i've really tried to get the day off work but obviously it's everyone's first day back so he's not been struggling but he has had to take a couple of calls bless him i was like i don't really don't mind oh my god i'm just so in love so in love, Barney, you like them too, don't you? Oh, he's pooped after our walk this morning. I love how the light is coming in this morning. Freya 30. Just my daily reminder of how old I am. <laughs> Good morning. We had a lovely rest of the birthday. The evening was very chilled. We ate Chinese food, filled our bellies. And today I'm heading into Manchester to meet with Lydia. We're going for a nice brunch at the Ivy. And I think we're gonna go to Joe Malone afterwards. Just trying to plan my outfits. I'm also watching Molly May's vlog, her trip to New York. Oh, I also got this from Tom's sister that arrived in the post yesterday, which was such a treat. A Hotel Chocolat gift set. We've got some Prosecco in there, some salted caramel puddles, which I've had before and are delish. Little box of four chocolates, some mini tablets and some champagne truffles absolute treat i did also get these um which i've treated myself to let me just pop you down show you what i'm talking about so with us having the lake district trip planned in and also wanting to get into hiking a bit more longer walks exploration days with the dog we um well i wanted to invest in some good quality like hiking shoes or some kind of walking shoes i've got walking trainers from adidas i've got myself like more for summer i've got myself um like actual boots dubarries uggs wellies obviously but i wanted some hiking shoes you know like proper walking shoes that aren't a proper full-on boot like a wellie or a dubarry so i had a good look online at good reviews places to shop from Tom's got some from Adidas that I really wanted to get my hands on, but they were completely out of stock in my size. So the next alternative that I came across were on trainers or on shoes. And I've, I have heard of this brand before. Um, they're quite reputable in terms of being good quality, hiking shoes, walking shoes, running shoes. So they've got this like grip thing on the bottom, which makes for them to be well, A, look a little bit funny, but also B, be really good for walking and for long distances. So I think what I'm gonna do is try and wear them in a little bit, start wearing them on my dog walks and make sure that they they fit and they're comfortable so that when we do go to the Lake District next weekend, I already know if they're gonna rub or if they are comfortable and they've been walked in. So 
yeah from today i'm going to start wearing these on my dog walks so in terms of outfit planning for today i think what i'm going to do is wear this black bodysuit which is from primark and um this fits really really well actually i wish they did more colors i think it's just black and nude that they do but i wish they did a white and then i'm going to wear my new lululemon leggings that tom got me i've been wearing these ones for um, a couple of days and they've got a bit of dog hair and fluff on them so I thought I would switch them out for a brand new fresh pair. I'm going to sneeze. Ew! Bless me. And then I'm going to wear a black hoodie because it is dark, miserable. I mean look how dark it is outside already. Already? Still. Um, it's about nine o'clock and that's how dark it is. So I'm going to wear a hoodie to keep my hair nice and dry and then style it up and make it a little bit smarter with this Zara blazer. I love the colour of this blazer. It's like a rich olive green kind of colour. This is in a size medium. So here we have the full outfit. Um, I'm actually quite warm. <laughs> it did start snowing though, so I've decided to throw on this extra layer. This coat is from H&M. I've just got a bit of a double collar situation going on here. H&M, Zara, Zara. I added my Chanel bag and also these boots, which are from June. Let's head on into Manchester. Let's hope, fingers crossed, we don't get snowed on, rained on, winded on. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Hey, I've been dreaming about you. Every night I see your clearest day. It's just something about the way. flip screen to the side. Actually, no, it's on the top. Oh, is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So annoying because I keep looking <laughs> over there. I'm with Lydia. Hi. We're literally just about to go into the Ivy. She's carrying a big bag, which apparently is for me. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to go have some yummy food. I'm thinking pancakes. Lydia's so savoury, probably. Savoury, yeah, definitely. always. Um, and yeah, we'll go in. Sing for me. <laughs> no one wants to hear my singing voice. <laughs> so cute. I can have shoulders. <laughs> You're just standing there with your perfect smile. Just leaving, having spent a lovely afternoon with Lydia. I don't know if you can hear me under this mask. Got myself some food from m and um, I'm gonna head back now. I actually need to pick up Barney from Doggy Daycare pronto. So I'll chat to you guys when I get back and show you also um, a couple of things I've bought and also what Lydia very kindly got me for my birthday, which was so sweet of her. Literally just walked through the door and first thing I've done is make myself a coffee. I've come back and it's been snowing since I've been gone. Like I've come back and all the cars have got snow on top of them. It's freezing cold. So I thought I'd make myself coffee to keep nice and warm. So I wanted to share with you some of the bits that I got spoiled to for my birthday today. So one second, let me just bring the bags over. You know when you get inside, and obviously no one's been here, so the heating's not been on full whack, and you just can't muster the strength to take off your coat just yet. 
that's me right now. So we'll just <laughs> keep it on for the time being. Um, so I have come back to a parcel from Glossy Box. Glossy Box is um, a, a little monthly subscription that I get through every month. I have actually worked with them previously. I thought I would just unbox this with you. We've got in here, oh, never heard of this brand before. Now Bay, a vitamin C body milk from Nails Inc, a gel rehab if you need a break from gel nails. I've actually still got my nails on from pre-Christmas, so I need to get them done because it's been a while. Um, also from Mud Mask Guy, Blue Clay Mask, and then Cleansing Bar, and last but not least, a Lip Dew Tinted Lip Balm. So from Harvey Nix, just popped in here um, last minute because I wanted to pick up a new Laura Mercier skin powder. This is the translucent one. Um, and look, oh, I went through boots, selfridges, finally ended up in Harvey Nicks where I could pick this one up. From Lydia, you might have seen from um, my little unboxing at the Ivy from White Company, she got me beautiful photo frame, which I really want to get more photos printed and put around the house. I feel like since we've had the Christmas decorations taken down, we kind of moved upstairs into this property once we'd renovated it into Christmas period. So I've decorated it with Christmas things. Now that they're gone, it feels a bit sparse, a bit empty. I feel like I need to add a bit of a homely touch, get some prints on the wall, some artwork, some photos. So that was well received and well thought of because we definitely need that personal touch on this property. So I might get like a nice black and white photo of um, a favourite picture of mine which I actually had printed out and put on our Christmas tree this year and it's of me, Tom and Barney. And then Lydia also got me a set of two trays, they're like a mirrored tray that you can just use for decorative purposes, just helps kind of keep things organised when you pop things on a tray. So looks less cluttered, I don't know, I just really like it. And then Jo Malone very kindly booked us in to a uh, non-contact fragrance discovery class thing that they do. They used to do it with a hand and arm massage, which we've done previously before, but with the current situation, it's like a non-contact version whereby you can discover some new fragrances, try some things out, and it's all kind of done by yourself as opposed to someone doing the hand and arm massage on you. So you get to discover some new, new products. So from Jo Malone, they booked us in for that for my birthday. Oops, drop the lead which is so lovely. And then on route out, they were like, you can pick your own 100ml fragrance and a body cream, which is amazing. Both myself and Lydia could do that. So that was so lovely of them to, to book us in for that. So I went for a new fragrance. Oh, that is so cute. They've got a little personalized touch on there. Little F charm. Oh, I love that. So this is in bronze, wood and leather. And this is one of the Cologne Intense. And I love the Cologne Intense in Myrrh and Tonka, but this is just that, oh God, I love it. This has just got that real like deep scent to it. Good for this time of year. Anyway, I also got for the body cream, I picked up the Mimosa and Cardamom. I have the fragrance in this, this spray smells amazing. I'm gonna pop this on my bath tray. In fact, let's do this now and see how we style it up. I need to do a full on home updates vlog of some kind at some point soon. Um, where I can maybe put these bits out and about and style them up. So, God, it's so dark for like early in the afternoon. So this is my current bath tray that I have out. I do have a candle on there, but I'm thinking of switching the candle out maybe to the Jo Malone body cream, like so, and then maybe this, this works candle. Smells lovely. I think this was part of, not glossy box, maybe a look fantastic box. Um, I don't know where to put it. I might just pop it on this stool for now and burn it when I'm having a bath. I love burning candles when you're in the bath. It just makes it so cozy. Turn off all the lights and just light the candles. So nice. So that is my little update post shopping trip to Manchester today. Had a lovely day, as always lovely to see Lydia. I just need to do a bit of tidying up and organizing before I go and pick Barney up from doggy daycare. It's amazing sending him there. He just is entertained all day long and then he's tired when he comes home. So it just gives me a day off having to walk him twice a day for a couple of hours because getting a golden retriever that's energetic needs a lot of walking. So yeah, it's been, 
I, I do like going on the walks with him though I have to admit it's a highlight of mine of the day but it just on those days where I do have him in doggy daycare it just gives me that break to be able to go out and not worry about him being at home alone and also get on with a load of stuff that needs to get done that I end up not doing when he's here because I just cuddle him instead all day every day anyway cheers to you guys hope you're enjoying this video so far I'm probably next gonna see you we are going to Lytham tomorrow do I vlog that I think because weather dependent we might not be going I think what I'll do is I'll just pick you guys back up pick the camera back up again when we are on a route to the Lake District for a lovely family staycation, spa break, hiking expedition, adventure with Tom and Barney, which I'm honestly so excited for. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Well, I'll see you guys in two seconds for you, but for me, it'll be in a few days. Skip to that few days later, and this is me right now feeling pretty rubbish. We've decided to postpone our trip because I'm not well. Uh, yesterday I felt so ill. Today I'm feeling much better, but yesterday I just felt like I, I napped all day, and that never happens for me. I'm the, in fact the last time that I had a nap during the day was actually when I had the C word. <laughs> me and Tom had it for Christmas 2020 and that was the last time it was the first day that I kind of started getting symptoms and I just napped all day so I was a bit worried yesterday I thought I'll do some natural flows get tested and I just um basically had all the signs and symptoms of it I don't want to say it because the video gets demonetized if you talk about it well potentially we never know with YouTube these days um but yeah, I was just feeling so awful yesterday. I've got Barney here, sat in between my legs, <laughs> just keeping me company. Tom actually gave him a really nice long walk today. So he's back, had a, sh had a bath. And I put this towel on him just to keep him nice and toasty. Um, I am glad I'm feeling so much better, but it just isn't worth it these days. Just if you've got the symptoms, the signs and symptoms, you just have to be careful. So I decided to protect others, protect ourselves to postpone the trip which they were absolutely fine with thank thankfully um because i was really looking forward to that trip and also i you know we weren't just going just for a spa break we were get, i bought all new hiking gear and walking gear that we were going to be um really exploring the lake district going on a few nice long walks over three days two nights so i just didn't yesterday i laid horizontal for the entire day so i just did not have the energy and i thought there's no way tomorrow i'm going to be able to go on a nice long hike in the lake district so i'm glad we postponed i am a bit like oh because now i'm feeling a bit better um i'm still not 100 percent though i've still got like really like achy neck and a bit of my back is aching as well but yesterday it was my whole body i had a temperature yesterday felt rubbish really splitting headache whereas I think last night I slept for about 12 hours, 11 or 12 hours. Again, I think I went to bed about 8 o'clock and didn't get up till about 8. So that for me is unheard of. So I am feeling better. We've put the trip on hold. I really want to thoroughly enjoy it. So I am going to do so as soon as they next have availability to have us, which we're just waiting on them getting back to us for have, um, giving us some new dates. So stay tuned for that in a vlog whenever we eventually get around to going there because yeah I'm gutted gutted I was so looking forward to it and I still am but I'm annoyed you know when you're ill or you're poorly and you just your mind is like I want to get out and do loads of stuff or I want to do be productive I want to do this and that but your body is just like no I'm gonna lie horizontal do nothing rest and recuperate that was me yesterday 
and today I'm actually just watching Chia season two on Netflix. Um, I loved the first season, so I asked Tom if he wanted to watch it. He wasn't interested, so I thought I'm just gonna take a bit of a break today. I've just been editing this video and just finished that, so I thought I would include this clip to just kind of sign out the video. Thank you for watching my little birthday vlog. We had a lovely time. It's a real shame about the ending of this vlog and the way that we've just kind of ended it on a bit of a dampener because I was honestly so looking forward to the Lake District trip, but never mind. We will get there. We will get there and we'll do that. And that's definitely something we want to do more is the exploring, the longer walks, um, nights away. So yeah, oh, I was gonna mention as well actually, um, about earlier on when I was talking about what I got for my birthday, a white company voucher, I have spent it on a lamp. I got the Pimlico lamp um, and that has just arrived. I might actually start maybe tomorrow or in a couple of days a home updates vlog and just kind of bring you up to speed with everything that's been going on with the house where we're at our plans for the renovations moving forward i've been speaking to some guys who are potentially going to start the basement in a couple of weeks which is so exciting so yeah i'll do a whole home updates vlog and i'll show you that new lamp in that and in situ as well but i have actually just received this parcel i mean i wasn't going to show it to you but i feel like seeing as they're on the topic of pr and well pr my white company lamp was not PR, it was a birthday gift. Iconic London have sent me their new Silk Glow Duo, 30 pounds. I liked the contour duo that they brought out. I still, for me, the highlight product, ta-da! The highlight product from Iconic London is the Illuminating Drops. They are honestly just unbeatable. I absolutely love them. I'm just gonna balance you on this box instead and share with you these silk glow duos this one is in rose glow Ooh, pretty i really like that highlight shade it reminds me a bit of the combination of these two remind me of nars orgasm and then this one is in coral glow that sounds more like me wow that is bright <laughs> love this that would be a gorgeous palette for summer I feel I love using coral shades. In fact, it was when I was with Lydia um, in this video that she was after a new blush that has like a real corally undertone to it. So Lydia, if you're watching this. Oh, hi there. Hi. What? Um, yeah, Lydia, if you're watching this, maybe you want to try this one Cheerio, from Iconic. You can watch that you want on your own. Pardon? You can watch you want on your own. I know, I just said to the vlog that I'm just, Ending off my birthday vlog now saying you weren't interested in this. You liked the first season though. Well, you know that, um, did you know about that guy? You know the one who does Matt talk, who's like really extravagant and flamboyant. Well, he, he's been, um, he was arrested for paedophilia. Or like having, sharing photos or something of kids. I know, where are you going? Uh, in the village. Yeah. Are you bringing lunch back? What are you making? Oh, nice. Anyway, this is not how I imagined I would be ending this vlog. All right, Barney Boo. Are you all right, buddy? Where's daddy gone? Is he gone outside? <laughs> He's gone to the hairdresser's, buddy. This is all I need in my life. Puppy cuddles. Netflix and chill. Oh, exciting news that we have had though this year. Hopefully all three of us are going to crafts. <laughs> so for any, yeah, that's you too. We are going with a friend. Um, you know the lead that I use for Barney from Rudy and Lou, uh, which has been a popular sell of my friend's business. Rudy and Lou is her business and she's got this lead that um, it's like a slip lead, but also figure eight lead. And um, yeah, anyway, she's invited us along with her and her stand to Crufts this year. So me, Tom and Barney are gonna book a night away and go um, down to Birmingham. It's at the NEC in March. I'm so excited for that. That is gonna be incredible. Um, let me know if you think I should vlog it or at least include some footage, maybe do a little staycation getaway 
come with us type vlog. But yeah, next up is a home updates vlog. I really need to get you guys up to date with the house, the situation, and also, of course, show you some new in-home wear bits that I've got. I've just had a delivery of loads of Zara home bits as well. So maybe I'll include that in there too. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Do give me a thumbs up if you are a fan of the vlogs. It really helps out my channel along with subscribing if you haven't already. I hope you're all doing well. And if anyone else is feeling a bit rubbish, then my heart goes out to you. Sending my love and get well soon. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.